I was trying to take a freaking thumbnail pic. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Tea Talks with Stan. That is me. Welcome to my channel. Excuse the desk here and the adjustment phase. Just trying to work with what I got here. Alright, so welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Slim and I'm an artist. So Today, um, I'm going to be sharing with you in this new kind of like video segment that I just actually thought of tonight called Tea Talks because every night I get my chamomile tea and I kind of relax before bed and it's been like a long day, a long night, an emotional night, you know how those go and so I'm just trying to regain my focus, my energy, and my strength. Um, basically, my night had consisted of many different emotions. I mean, there's a lot of things energetically going on, but more, but more specifically with myself. If I were to be very honest and clear, I've always, um, you know, kind of been conflicted because I am an artist and I have so many interests. Um, so I guess I should just tell you guys a little bit about me. I first and foremost am a singer songwriter. I've been singing since I was four years old. Um, you know, just growing up, always loving singing, and then moving on into my older era, you know, where I'm a teenager, you know, doing talent shows and things like that. And then, kind of like as an adult, working as a professional singer in bands, and then being lead singer of a band. And then from there, literally um, stepping out on my own as a solo artist. And that's um, who I am when I say I am slim. So slim is my artist name and Also, I am a yogi and I'm a yoga teacher. I teach yoga. I teach the healing arts and um, I also am a Reiki healer. So I do a lot of energy healing work and card readings and so tonight I just did a card reading for myself um, and it was centered around just kind of like this recent experience that I went through with myself, which was that if you guys were to see my desk here, like it's just so much stuff everywhere. And that's just the life of like a messy entrepreneur, like artist, you know, like things are everywhere. And I'm trying so hard to kind of get really focused and organized because the key to success is being focused on one task at a time and being present with that task. And so it's just been very difficult for me basically to choose a route, you know, whether I'm going to focus on music solely or whether I'm going to focus on um, my lifestyle brand here at Escape Slim and YouTube and just this whole nine. So I'm going to do my best to incorporate everything and um, just be focused with everything when I am actually executing that task. So if I'm teaching a yoga class or making a yoga sequence, I'm focused on that. Or if I'm doing music on this day at this time, I'm doing that. So just kind of like breaking up my time. So anyways, I wanted to share with you guys the cards that I got because I wanted to see what energy was present today with all of that said. Um, and the card that I got from my tarot deck was the Three of Pentacles. So as you can see here on this card, it is an artist trying to um, build and he's talking with some people and kind of like organizing a meeting, you know, or they're just having like a meeting going on and he's basically trying to build and construct a cathedral um, from the picture you see. And that's literally what's going on with me and how I feel. I'm trying to construct my game plan, so to speak, and really... Um, you know, I've always been executing, but just having more of a specific focus of execution and really staying committed to that um, to obtain the outcome that I truly desire. So I thought this was very accurate. Um, so along with this card, just to give you guys some more info on the Three of Pentacles, it's basically you're building something, um, you're making something happened in the world and so the three stands or the three number three is all about collaboration um so he's you know having a meeting and this is something that i did today like i had a meeting with someone and really sat down with them really got clear and really had them assist me as well 
with the things that I needed to do in order to kind of get everything going and everything on track and just me feeling better about my position and, and with where I've been with all of this and kind of like my progress along the way, which the opportunities are coming in. And it's like, you really just have to count your blessings and not be so hard on yourself when you're going through an entrepreneur type of journey and just any journey for that matter. And just be proud of your small wins. You know what I mean? Um, doesn't matter if you haven't, you know, struck gold yet. And it should just, you know, be about, are you happy? Are you feeling fulfilled with what you're doing every single day? And this all has started by me doing an exercise where I wrote down what makes me happy and then I wrote a list of what are the things that I do every day and I compared the two and some of the things that made me happy I do every day and then a lot of it I, I didn't so that's where I was like wow like I need to get really um, you know more adjusted to become more aligned to the things that make me happy which will inspire me and which will give me more experiences more fun more life more energy to create because I'm a content creator I am an artist I'm a creator um, so that's just gonna help my vision and you know everything that I want to bring to the world such as my songs such as my YouTube videos just everything as a whole so I just wanted to share this in case there's other people out there that can relate to these feelings and this type of lifestyle so um, it says that you are now going to start you know drawing in other people basically to your team and um, you know your creation and that will help things to get better and this is already happening with just various opportunities that are actually presenting themselves now you know I do have a circle and network of people that I am connected to and that I have opportunities through and I'm truly grateful for those and um, it also makes me very nervous you know just because it's like it's just you know, it makes me nervous because it's just, it's all me, you know? Um, it's not that I'm coming from this company and I'm presenting this product that we have. No, it's just strictly like Sheena Slim. Sheena's my real name if you don't know me. But it's just what I come with, my talent, what I represent, you know, how I can energetically help people and you know just on that level it's just so personal and that's why it can feel so intense <laughs> so um it just also went on to say that um you know you're gaining momentum right now as far as i'm concerned and um, today is a good day to invite people into what you are doing so that's definitely something that i did today you know i invited a very special someone to kind of get clear with me and get on track and really kind of regroup and refocus my game plan and my intention because that is everything for me like I cannot operate in this world if I'm not coming from a true place of authenticity and like really um, doing these things that I do because I love it and because I want to serve so that's my why as far as like that's concerned and this is a card that I got so that was that was the three of pentacles the next card that came out for me and I was just doing like a one card pull for my tarot but two came out sometimes it happens this one is the two of wands so as you can see there's a man there standing on a castle and just you know standing in between two wands looking in the castle world in his hand but he's pretty much in a place of like contemplation and like should I go this way or should I go that way and I have literally been driving myself fucking crazy like what, what should I do should I focus on it because I'm telling you I have so many things like so many offerings so many services so many you know people that have been hitting me up lately to you know get my offerings and so that's taking time and just trying to find my balance and then saying like oh well I'm not really touching on this area over here because I'm busy over here doing this thing you know and it's just all about figuring out which way I want to go and so this is representing my current energy right now which is just kind of like at a standstill like hold up you know like wait a minute so um I'm happy that I'm aware of that and that it's not a bad thing but you know at some point I do need to continue to come back over to this energy and really just start executing and just start working and start inviting people into my circle so with that said you guys 
this is my YouTube channel. This is a platform where I provide all different types of videos. If you guys want to get to know me a little bit better, I have a documentary video that I made about two years ago called Good and Goodbye. And that video will give you more insight to who I am as a whole, what I've been through, and kind of where I am up up until now, up until this point, although so much more new stuff has happened and occurred and, you know, transpired in my life. So um, that can kind of give you a little speed up, head up, you know, speed up, head up, what the fuck, um, you know, like just a push to kind of like, you know, just get more on, um, you know, just knowing like who I am or whatever. And um and yeah, so you, you know, I do the YouTube. Um, if you are in the San Diego area, this is where I reside, and I offer yoga classes, I offer massage therapy, I offer Reiki sessions, which is energy healing, um, and many other services, and even the tarot cards. This is a new service that I offer with my brand at Escape Slim. The tarot cards are literally something that has been a part of my life for a while. Um, a lot of my friends would do the tarot card readings for me because I have a lot of like spiritual friends, which they're amazing. <laughs> and so, you know, they're into this kind of stuff and they, you know, do similar things. And so I actually got this as a present from my Reiki master teacher. Um, she gave this card deck to me when I completed my, um, my Reiki certifications. So um, now I'm really excited that I can like kind of, you know, check out the cards for myself on a daily basis and just really like see what comes up for me. And I'm like, wow, like this is so spot on to like what's going on, you know? Um, so don't knock it until, you know, you try it because with all of that said, there's two other cards that I have from my, uh, love activation deck that came out. And it's representing the love energy that I feel right now, you know, and I do feel this newfound commitment to everything that it is that I want to execute on and knowing that I can execute on all these things and that I'm not crazy for having big dreams and I'm not crazy for, you know, like having all these plans. Like all I have to do is just be committed to it. So it says you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, which is so true, and knowing that love is the essence of your very being. I am literally coming from a place of love in all aspects of my life. That's all I've ever wanted. Um, it's something that I've always had to fight for, you know? Um, I mean, granted, I've had love and people in my life, but it's also been a lot of hardship to go along with that. And so love is super important to me. Love is something that I really want to provide to other people. Hence why I do what I do. Even when it comes to my music, it's like my songs are about my real life experience. And my songs are basically therapy sessions where you listen to it, you learn a life lesson and you become healed in the end. Um, and that's kind of like what my goal is. Every time I write a song, I want to move somebody. I want somebody to, you know, feel a certain type of way or be brought back to a happy or sad place, you know, just to kind of process and feel those emotions. It's so important that we feel and that we release, you know, what comes up and what shows up and we take a look at it and we work through it. So with that said, commitment. It says, by trusting, respecting, and loving all that you are, you broadcast your clear readiness to do the work necessary to manifest your intentions. When you come from a place of a strong commitment and combine that with a strong sense of self, it sends a precise message to the universe that you are engaged and ready for lessons. In this way, you are also developing faith in yourself as you move closer to manifestation. There, are, there will always be others questioning your priorities. Bless them. <laughs> with the understanding that your commitment is to you only. No one else is meant to understand it, for it is truly your personal journey in self-discovering and healing. I think that has been something that has held me back in recent time, is worrying about what people think about what I'm doing with my time and with my life. And, you know, just maybe thinking too that, oh, it's crazy, you know, like you have your own business. And, you know, in the beginning of having your own business, things start off kind of slow. At this point, two plus years in, you know, and with my yoga and my Reiki, um, 
modalities added on to Escape Slim. It's like, you know, um, there's just other aspects now that are picking up and I've had amazing yoga sessions and Reiki sessions, which I'm still, you know, getting that going and started. Um, but even doing the Reiki on myself, my close friends and family, and even my, and even my dog, you know, it's like, it's really cool that I have these tools available to me and, and that I can share them with people. So um, I just know that if I stay committed to what I believe in, as far as all this is concerned, you know, and, and the more I can share with everybody, it's like the better because the people who are called to will be drawn to me and then they will benefit from learning about it and use it in their lives. And, you know, these things have changed my life. So it's like, that's why I share. That's why, you know, I want to have my services be available to others so that they can experience the benefits and the transformation that, you know, I've went through and that has helped me to up level in so many ways. Um, so with that says, it goes on to say, never concern yourself with what others might think of you for your light is different. And perhaps you will now ignite someone else's devotion to follow their soul's calling. You stand out from a crowd with your ability to clearly commit to what you want, enabling your wishes and desires to manifest quickly. And that has always been me. Like I've always felt different. I have always felt like I never wanted to go the traditional route hence why I've developed programs in my brand called the escape route, you know, just really escaping into what you truly believe to be for you, for your life and for your purpose and your journey and your road to recovery or healing. Um, so I just, I just think that's really important that we answer that call and that we pay mind to that feeling, you know, because just for me, it's something that has always been kind of like sitting in there. But now that I'm in a position where I can fully execute and I have the opportunity to manifest my dreams and to nurture my dreams and pour all my energy into my goals and my dreams, then that's what needs to just be going down 24-7, which it has been. So just getting more clear, more focused. And same for you if you're somebody out there that has similar aspirations. So this card right here came up as well, creativity. I'm just like, okay, yeah. It says you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of elimination. So I've always been a creative person. I love to write. I love to be inspired. I love art. Um, I love to write songs. I love to sing, I love to dance, I love art. I have art all throughout my home. My husband was just saying like, oh my God, we have so many paintings now. I'm like, yep. And I buy these paintings from my fellow artist friends. So it's really comforting and inspiring to just kind of like have yourself in a realm where there's just lots of art and inspiration from your other artist friends who are either making music or art or doing whatever it is that they do. So. Let's read about creativity. So, 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 it goes on to say, the most natural characteristic of a soul is creation. As a spiritual being, you are continually being inspired by the higher self, source energy, and the spirit world to express yourself in the physical dimension. You are constantly in a mode of creation, even if you are not aware of it. Thoughts are creation and thoughts are real. And even though not every single one manifests itself physically, it nevertheless creates your reality. That is why it is, it is so important to keep your thoughts high-minded. Judgment of yourself and others lowers your vibration of love. Your thoughts don't belong only to you. Their energy is part of the collective consciousness. Yeah, that was a big no-no, uh, uh-oh type of episode I had last night. Literally had like a breakdown because my thoughts were just all over the place. I was confused. I was frustrated. I was angry. And that was just lowering my vibration. I was judging myself. I was just doing the most. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's really, really important that 
we don't be hard on ourselves, okay? Like, things take time. And I am way further than I was when I started. And it's like, it just really comes down to being being patient. Of course, everybody wants to be wealthy and rich and have all this abundance. But we already have abundance. Just the fact that we have a life and that we're healthy and that we can be here and that we can enjoy and see and walk and feel and touch and have our loved ones near. And it's like, it's just all about your perception because... Even the people who have all the money or who have the dreams you want, you know, they can be really unhappy. They can take their lives, just anything. So it doesn't, it's not about the money. It's about finding happiness with what you have today, finding happiness in yourself. Because it doesn't matter where you go, what house you change to, what car you change into, you know, what boyfriend, girlfriend you get. It's like, you have to be happy first and you have to cultivate that happiness for yourself in some type of form and my cultivation for myself is something that I'm still learning to master but I really feel that it's it comes from loving myself it comes from nurturing myself and being proud of myself for what I have already accomplished and what I have already achieved and things like that Um, And it also comes from just being, because it's not just about, oh, I did this, oh, I did that, here's my degree over here, here's my degree over there, I did this too. Like, it's really about being comfortable with just existing and just being present, you know? And I think that's just what it all comes down to. So keep your thoughts high-minded. I'm also reading a book right now (laughs) that I received from someone. I'll show it to you guys. It was a book that... I got a couple months back from an amazing hairdresser and she um, that I met through my mom and you know I just had stopped by there one day because I was literally having a panic attack and broke down in her shop and literally was like going haywire and she talked to me she was seriously like an earth angel I swear I'm just like wow so she talked to me and she gave me this book and it says who switched off my brain. So it says controlling toxic thoughts and emotions. And I've been on a self-help healing personal development journey for, I don't know, it's been a while now, maybe like three, four years now. Um, I'm not really sure when exactly I started, but I know it was a couple of years ago. So I'm used to everything that it is I'm learning, but it's like we always need those reminders. We can never take for granted, you know, the fact that we should be open to learning and, you know, not being in our ego and thinking like, oh, I know it all type of thing because we will get knocked on our asses thinking that we know it all when we forget to exercise and feed our mind with like really good beneficial things, you know. That's just going to help our soul's evolution and help our help our growth overall. So um, it says, your creative spark may ignite and inspire the soul or mind of another. And before this sentence, it also said that, you know, um, our thoughts belong not only to us. So our thoughts affect our family. Our thoughts affect the collective consciousness. It goes into this energy uh, field that we step out into every single day and we absorb all of the energy when we're going to the store when we're driving in our cars and especially when we get around certain type of people Um, you know how you can just feel like their vibe you can feel like what a good space or home environment feels like and you can feel what a bad one feels like so um, and that has to do with the thoughts and the energy that is present so If you want to contribute to this world and make it a happier place, you know, spread love, spread light. And that's why, you know, I can label myself as a light worker or whatever. I don't really like titles, but um, I definitely resonate with that one because it's somebody that brings awareness and love and light to situations and just to the world and just kind of gets people to focus on what truly matters. So I really resonate with that. So going on it says when you are blocking your creativity you are not fully expressing your soul this blockage may manifest in a number of ways such as physical pain 
anger, depression, anxiety, and isolation. And that's exactly what I had went through last night, okay? Like, no joke. And it wouldn't be the first time. And even though I have done so much work, I have literally gone through Reiki healing, spiritual healing, like all this stuff, there is still lots of work to do. And with that said, that even brings forth even more stuff for me to look at that I maybe thought, oh, I might have been healed from this. But it's like, no, Sheena, like this is still in the root and you need to like uproot it and get it out and really like fix it, handle it, you know, um, acknowledge it and, and officially like let it go and move on. So that's kind of what I've been doing all summer is like getting things uprooted, dealing with things and kind of just shifting more into the space that is truly meant for me. Um, I tried a lot of different things and it's like, you know, you just have to keep trying until you find what truly resonates with you and what works and it doesn't matter if you switch different things you know what I mean and I'm speaking um as far as like my business is concerned because like I said I offer various you know healing modalities and services and some I really enjoy and some are I mean I enjoy all of them but some were draining my energy and I had to focus on okay how do I <laughs> protect my energy, manage my energy with serving others and then having to present myself in my life for my family and having energy for them and my friends and my family. It's like, it's just a lot. So um, it's all about the balance and the focus. So anyways, um, this is always remember that you are of God and God is creativity. So as a loving visionary person, you can see the potential for that which has yet to exist in physical reality and that's so true like I can literally see what I want for my future and that is what kind of drives and pushes me to just kind of go through the motions even though they feel like crazy ocean waves and detours and like unknown you know ground and all this stuff like I just still keep going forward going through the fear um you know, just learning to accept certain things about myself, about other people, and, and truly learning the essence of forgiveness that really helps to kind of propel you forward as well. So it says you are able to turn imagination into form. The more you attune yourself to the loving energy of your heart, the more receptive you are to inspired ideas that bring earth closer to heaven. So it's really about staying connected to your heart space right here and doing what really resonates and comes um, to your heart and executing through that intention, you know, through the things that you love. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this new video segment that I have now called Tea Talks and introduce you guys to my cards, Love Activation, and my tarot deck. And if you guys are interested in learning more about me, again, check out my Good and Goodbye documentary here on YouTube. And also, you can check out um, the links down below. I'll link my website and my Facebook business page and social media links for Instagram. And you guys can check out a little bit more of my work. And um, if you feel the vibe here, subscribe. And I look forward to getting to know all of my new subscribers and, and, and my old subscribers who have been with me. And next time, you know, you can grab yourself a cup of tea and we can sit and talk and connect. And cheers through the screen. <laughs> And you guys can hear my crazy family in the background. And we will meet again very soon next time. So thank you. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Good night. Bye-bye.